Hello there guys. So today is another musing video about hope, uh, concerning witchcraft and hope, and it's just going to be me thinking out loud, talking out loud, musing over concepts and, and things that have come up this week. It is beautifully stormy outside, so you may or may not be able to hear that at any given point. If you can't, then it's there. If you can, that's what it is. So, I'm just trying to see where it started. Okay. So, where's the best place to start on what hope is? Perhaps some quotes about hope. But the reason that I began mulling over the concept of hope is that it seemed to be a thread that was coming to me through a lot of imagery and a lot of my thought processes about coming through difficult times, about overcoming things that were getting to me. And to rather than to give in to the, the negative side of the things, was to flip the way that I was perceiving difficult situations and focus solely on hope. And what hope actually is, is up for debate, and there are a lot of people that see it in a very negative way, uh, as it being the absence of action, which we'll discuss in a minute. Um, and then there is people that think it is one of the most defining characteristics of man, and you'll see a lot of uh, posts and things which are hope restored for humanity when they see decent behaviour in a largely negative environment. There is one view of looking at hope in that it can be a powerful banisher of negativity. When we have given up we are said to be hopeless and we look at a situation and, and feel it is hopeless and that is sort of one of the worst states of being as described by human beings to be hopeless to have nothing to hope for and that kind of occurs when we see everything in a very negative light we cannot see the positives, we only see the negatives. And finding our own sense of personal hope can be a very difficult thing. Particularly when times are hard, everything seems to, to be piling on and going wrong. Hopelessness often comes as well when we have lost sight of our blessings and we feel very sorry for ourselves. And hope can be the sort of difference between seeing things as a challenge and seeing the light um, versus being hopeless, which is giving up, uh, not being able to see any positives, not being able to find any joy. There's been a lot of quotes this week and pictures this week with regarding to light and light imagery. There's been the Dumbledore quote um, bandied about a bit this week, which is um, that you know you can find light, you can find happiness in any situation, no matter how dark. You only need to turn on the light. Um, I'm paraphrasing. I haven't written the, that one down. Let's see, what quotes have I written down? Embrace hope and the negative times will be banished. Hope is the power. Hope... Oh, and the, this is this is my quote. This is me, I'm reading this out like, who wrote this? It's like, it's me. <laughs> hope is the open eye to all the universe. 
Joanne Morris 2014. So I was writing that when I was first musing around and feeling out the energies with regards to how I felt about the concept of hope. Hope is the open eye to all of the universe. So the reason I said open eye rather than open eyes is it's one eye open to all the universe because the other eye has to be what balances hope which has to be action and engaging and more than belief more than a mental state more than emotional state it has to be the putting into practice but to have that eye on open to the universe is to allow the interconnectedness of the universe to allow joy into your life to not have both eyes shut tight and not be able to engage with the world around us concepts of hope often sort of fall into many categories but the ones that have popped up for me this week have been Pandora's box defining characteristic of man the unicorn and illumination which we've kind of already talked about with regards to there have been a lot of pictures of candles this week a lot of pictures of light this week there have been a lot of pictures of, of unicorns this week we're going to go into that in a minute um, I found a really interesting quote from C.R. Snyder and this is to do with counselling and psychology hope is defined as the process of thinking about one's goals along with the motivation to move forward toward agency and the ways to achieve pathways so in counseling at least it hope is defined as an overarching term for the belief as well as the action when i was reading around this i sort of put what i thought my thoughts about what hope would be belief in a positive something pure innocent and untainted a strength of character to hope against hope to be a positive to be a light even in a negative environment or world to want to be better to want your environment to be better a belief in goodness and i think that's what tied it into the unicorn imagery which has been everywhere for me this week a unicorn being a mythical beast, uh, something pure and untainted, something wholly good, sort of an archetypal image for innocence and purity and goodness and therefore what hope is. Because, although I guess you can taint hope, I guess you can hope for negative things depending on your mindset. Um, Perhaps then hope and what we hope for is a reflection of who we are in balance um, within ourselves. And this sort of quote that um, we do not see things as they are, we see things as we are from I Am That Girl This Week kind of ties into that and therefore what we are hoping for is a reflection of who we are as a person right now. I mean who we are as a person is open to change and we can change who we are. Um, but perhaps what we hope for is a reflection of that um, and how we view hope how positively or negatively we view hope as a thought process and then an action um, is dependent on who we are as people. I've seen people who uh, argue against hope as if hope is merely a thought process, a mental process, and as if it somehow has been lessened within modern uh, dictations, whether they be pagan or magical or otherwise but it's sort of used as a keyword as a power word as a buzzword to make people feel better rather than what it should in my opinion be um, which is a powerful tool to be utilized to be used to be um, lived with brought into oneself and used to create um, and I have seen it given as an excuse to not proactively chase whatever oh they hope they will be this but they never go ahead and do anything about it 
And that to me is a sort of a lopsided idea of what hope can be or hope should be. Um, because hoping is basically dreaming with a positive aspect and therefore if you want your hopes to become reality then you have to infuse your emotional mental hope with the physical, with the doing, with the action. We cannot, I, I don't believe in the idea that if we just allow things to, to be, um, they will just all fall into place. I think sometimes you have to believe in the universe and you have to allow things to come to fruition. You can't force every situation and things will happen. But I also believe in the positive sort of chasing of one's dream. You know, if you want to be an artist then you have to paint something you know you cannot hope to be and never put the action into effect <clears throat> and that kind of ties into a really nice quote by Christopher Reeve once you choose hope anything's possible so is hope then the possibility is hope a possibility is believing in being hopeful therefore opening the door to being who you want to be achieving what you want to achieve I'm just having a look at um, some more positive quotes for hope Hope begins in the dark, the stubborn hope that if you just show up and try to do the right thing, the dawn will come. Anne Lamott. That kind of ties into the Pandora's box myth. I always loved Greek mythology growing up, I was very into it. And the Pandora's box was a really intriguing myth, whereby um, Pandora opens the box, which she's not supposed to, and all the evils of the world are allowed out, but at the same time, hope is allowed out into the world. And that we cannot have all those negative, inverted commas, emotions and feelings and things um, without hope being there to counterbalance it. That those things are, in effect, the balance of the universe. That despair and hope are more or less the same energy, but at the opposite end of the spectrum. Um, how we view a situation, whether we despair or are hopeful, is dependent on us in the centre of, of those two extremes. I think it's a beautiful characteristic of human beings, of humankind. I think to hope for better is to get your ducks in a row in a way, is to set your mindset into, the, into a good, positive mindset, whereby you start to visualise how your life can be better, how you can be the best person you can be. And that's how it starts tying into witchcraft for me, because the power of visualisation is frequently um, sort of quoted as being one of the most powerful things. You know, if you will something to be, if you believe enough, if you believe enough to then act upon it um, and you get all your energies sort of swirling, intertwining, interweaving in a, in a fabric type mesh that you can then manifest the most positive outcome and this is true for the opposite end of the spectrum as well with in terms of despair that if all you focus on is the negative aspect of what's going to happen if you put all your energy and thought process into believing something then your actions will follow suit and the worst will occur and particularly when you are of a magical mindset, a psychic mindset, or what, however you want to say it, that you believe something will happen enough, then your actions will start to um, follow through with that and your vibrational energy will attract that. So that's what then will manifest. And that's how it ties into being aware of yourself as a pagan who, or a witch or however you so want to see it. Somebody who's aware of uh, vibrational energy and, and being what you attract.
Author unknown, but this is quite a nice quote. You've got to have hope. Without hope, life is meaningless. Without hope, life is meaning less and less. Hope is the feeling we have that the feeling we have is not permanent. Mignon McLachin, The Neurotics Notebook, 1960. Hope is, ho is faith holding out its hand in the dark. George Isles. That's nice. Hope is faith holding out its hand in the dark. So if that is something we can follow, follow that line of reasoning, then we are reaching out when we are being hopeful. And if we are spiritual beings and we believe in a spiritual entity, no matter how we see that spiritual entity, be it deity, god, goddess, something specific or something very general, then surely reaching out um, to that deity with a sense of hope um, and sort of faith and belief coming from that, that times will be better, that we deserve more, that without it becoming from a place of pure ego, that we that we will be uplifted, um, is a sense of belief not only in deity but in oneself and the connection with deity and spirituality. Hope rises like a phoenix from the ashes of shattered dreams. That's nice as well. S.A. Sachs. So, there are a lot of quotes around at the minute as well that are sort of, when all seems lost, don't give up, because that's usually when a miracle happens. That's, that's a quote that's been bandied around this week a lot as well. The sort of sense of, don't ever give up, you just have to keep fighting for what you believe in, fighting for a better tomorrow, fighting to be a better version of you, fighting for the right to carry on, the, the necessity of it really, the necessity of hope in becoming, in evolving, in growing into a better human being tomorrow than you are today. Because if you give up on yourself, you don't care, you you know, you don't want to be a better person, you don't want to fight for a better tomorrow, then you're not going to achieve that and you're going to get stuck and it's going to have a really terrible sort of domino effect on your emotional, spiritual and mental well-being. Because giving up is a truly disastrous thing for the human psyche and the human spirit. Um, to just give up on something completely, to be hopeless, to give in to despair, is a really sort of frightening concept. Um, and it's not a happy or pleasant thing to really think about what would happen to you if you were truly hopeless and you had truly given up. It's sort of a very destructive self-pattern. And I think we do all go through the cycles of hopelessness and hopefulness, um, hope and despair. I think we all go through those cycles. I think they're a necessary growth pattern that we all go through. We've all had times in our life when we have felt like giving up and then the choice is presented to us. And this is very true on my path with the Morrigan over and over again. Um, they're going through the cycles of here is your choice you you can choose you can choose to be hopeful that times will get better and you keep going and you keep fighting and it hurts but you keep pushing through those blocks or you give up you lie down you you give up the belief and your faith and any joy that you have in a situation you just give it up um, at, say it's not worth it and um, to me I think honestly um, choosing the hopeful path is a much better way of living life of, of saying well 
okay, uh, um, I allow myself to feel the pain, to feel the despair. That doesn't make me a weak person, it means that I'm human and I feel all those things that I am meant to feel and are a natural part of life process. And then I get up and then I keep going and then I regain my hope, I regain my belief. And there are many, many ways in which to sort of bolster your self-belief and hope through the process and just to pick yourself up and keep going. Sometimes it's just as much as getting up in the morning. And there have been a lot of quotes around recently as well about overcoming depression, like no matter how crap you feel, get up, get washed, get dressed. And sometimes that is a step of hope. That is a belief in a better tomorrow. Because at least, if nothing else, you got up and you kept on going, you kept moving, you kept walking. You didn't lie down and die, you stood up and fought a little bit. Even if it's a tiny little victory, a victory is better than not. And sometimes there won't be victories in your mind, but as long as you got up and, and tried, then that is something much more than lying down and dying and giving up. I'm going to finish with a quote that really spoke to me this week and that's by Arunthati Roy I think um, to love, to be loved, to never forget your own significance, to never get used to the unspeakable violence and the vulgar disparity of life around you, to seek joy in the saddest places, to pursue beauty to its lair to never simplify what is complicated or complicate what is simple, to respect, to respect strength, not power, above all to watch, to try and understand, to never look away and never, never to forget. Many blessings.